Hello everybody and welcome to Soul Survivors. This is going to be the first sort of video in a series of videos I want to do just trying out new roguelikes and trying out new games. People have expressed interest at wanting to do that in the past and of course I want to do that too. Um, and so this is a game that I was sent over on my uh, my Turtle Melon sort of business email. If anyone else has any games to suggest, you can send them to me there on my Discord. Um, and it looked really interesting. Basically, this is like a more advanced Vampire Survivors. I believe it's going to early access on May the 3rd. This is a beta version that's content creator exclusive at the minute. So thank you for the key. Um, but yeah, this is, it looks like Vampire Survivors with a bit more going on, which I, I honestly, I really enjoyed Vampire Survivors. I know I didn't play any of it on my channel, but I enjoyed it thoroughly uh, in my own time. But I felt like towards the end, it got a little bit repetitive and it didn't have as much interaction as I would have liked. So the premise of this game really sort of speaks to me. And this is my first time playing this, so we're going to give this a go. As you can see, very, very similar premise. I mean, Vampire Survivors has spawned a whole genre of games like this. Um, and I really like the idea of them. They're very, very fun. Um, and yeah, so far this seems really cool. So we can level up here. Increased distance to collect souls is pretty nice. Um, it's kind of got like a Dark Souls-y vibe, actually, this. Shield bash or stunning blow. Frontal AoE stun. Let's try that. Ooh. Oh, the animations on this are very, very nice. I hope the game isn't too loud. I've tried to lower it quite a lot. Um to balance it. I hope it's reasonably balanced. I'm gonna actually, one sec, do it a tiny bit more. I know it seems really low on my end here, but it's actually just because I have my, my PC volume quite high. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really liking this. Um, so how exactly do I... Okay, I think my ability just, yeah, it's just gonna go off periodically like in Vampire Survivors. Good, good, good. Okay, and it's getting there with the souls. This guy, of course, only um, can fire forward left and right, should I say. Increase damage and health, but reduce speed. Ooh. Increase base HP, but reduce damage and reduce damage taken. I'm going to take the damage taken one there and grab that. Ooh, we're going to actually get a quick level up here. Very quick indeed. Reduce all ability cooldowns. Um, a new quick strike. Swift but powerful attack, strike plus one. Okay, so that's our basic strike, I see. Uh, temporarily boost damage, intelligence, um, regen, or cooldowns. Okay, this is another new attack here. Oh, yeah. I can see our fire rate has increased quite a lot here. And it's going to be interesting to see what um, what new enemies come in here. One thing I will say about this game uh, that I'm noticing so far... Oh, hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, these guys seem tricky. Um, oh, Lord, these seem really tricky, honestly. Let's see if we can open this chest up. Oh, there you go. And that gives us some healing as well. Uh, yeah, one thing I'm noticing about this game is movement is a lot slower as of base. It might be the case that that's something that uh, we we can sort of spend a lot on upgrading. Oh, we got the whole uh, idea of sort of the uh, wave of enemies coming in there. You see all those flies coming across. Vampire Survivors does something very similar. But the, the, as I said, this game did say it's heavily inspired by. So, understandably so. Um, let's go reduced ability cooldowns here. There's a lot and a lot of uh, souls over here that I want to grab. Getting that increased grab range would be pretty nice. We're starting to get the zombies coming in now, which is clearly a little bit of an issue. Here's the movement speed, but honestly, Iron Smash, oh. Like I say, it seems fun, and it damn well is. Okay, I think we have a reasonably good build going so far. Um, it seems that maybe we do heal over time, or maybe that was for hitting... Hitting that there. What, what, what life is this? Is this some sort of poison upgrade? It is indeed a poison upgrade. Those mages are uh, certainly tricky. We've got some sort of rogues here as well. Um, yeah, we go for the damage reduction again. I think that's really good to take early on. This seems pretty good here. An overhead slash attack, a devastating chain of attacks. Ooh, whoa, interesting. The animations and all these attacks are really cool. It looks like we have eight slots to uh, for our attacks. That seems reasonable enough. That's more than uh, more than Vampire Survivors, I think. Can't remember exactly. Ooh, okay. We've got a uh, th like this is like a Dark Souls bonfire looking thing there. Look, I'm liking the Dark Souls -y aesthetic of this. Um, increase amount of gold picked up. So gold is probably going to be used for upgrading outside of combat. Uh, let's go with the speed upgrade here. 
Trying to plan our attacks around what enemies are near us is going to be a little bit tricky. We'll have to see what um, what rolls in later on here. Because I'm sure this is going to get a lot harder, a lot quicker. So far, our mushroomy boys here are like our biggest, toughest enemy. Oh, God. Whoa. That stump just came to life. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I kind of like having these dudes go up, like, um, above and below us. That really helps. We need to be taking advantage while we um, have the availability of uh, that Warhorn there. We're trying to get in there and kill the mages, but they're, in, they're not easy. This guy's definitely like our boss at the minute. Holy hell, these swarms. You can see I'm taking quite a lot of damage at the minute, but it's not going too bad. Um, Shade of Vengeance plus two shades. Wow. Okay. This thing has just become so much better. So, so much better. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this sort of thing where I just play games that I haven't tried before that I've maybe been sent codes for or ones that you suggest that are like in early access or like cheaper on Steam to try out, then I'm totally down to do that. And hopefully um, if we... Pr oh my lord, no! No! I'm dead. Holy! My goodness! <laughs> <laughs> this dude just got up out the ground. Okay, so there's definitely some mimics going on. We have 59 gold right now. And we have a different skill tree per character here. Um, so the ne let's, let's place the Necromancer next and we can uh, have a look at upgrading abilities. So uh, reduce decay rate of skeletons. Um, collecting a flesh pile heals the Necromancer. And flail attack inflicts 10% more damage. Let's go with this, I guess. Um, it costs 20 to upgrade that. And then we'll also go with this as well. And yeah, let's play as the Necromancer this time around. So a good few characters here. I'm guessing these are going to come with the uh, full early access game. I'm guessing this beta copy only has a few characters and probably only a few levels. But okay, now I am aware that we um, that we certainly have to be careful of uh, mimics because that's a thing. <laughs> Command a wave of exploding skeletons. Oh, summon a colossal fist to smash your enemies. Exploding skeletons. Sounds amazing. Oh, wait. I think this um this metal chain is actually... Con yeah, it is. It's controlled by my movement. Ooh, I like that. I really, really like that. So, I wonder if it does any more damage based on the speed at which it moves. Um, Distance of collecting souls. Damage... Uh, damage bonus to skeletons attacks. Yeah, let's let's take that. Um, skeletons. So skeletons decay over time, um, but I can heal them by walking over bodies. Yeah, this is a really cool way of attacking. One thing I do have to say that is is a little bit. Uh, let's just, just, just read these first. Rain down AOE of exploding skulls. I like that. Command a wave of exploding skeletons plus ten. Um, spell damage boost. I'm going to take this and try and just go with all the exploding skeletons. Uh, one thing I will say is... Okay. Interesting. I like those guys. Um, I think the base movement speed could do to be a little bit quicker if I was to give some uh, some feedback. It just... I feel very, very sluggish. And I, I, I kind of realize that's that's on purpose so that you have to, like, take your upgrades for... Um, take your upgrades for movement speed. But at the same time, it feels a little rough. Attack speed to skeletons. Um, transfer speed from the necromancer to skeletons. Oh, nah. I'm, I'm not going to say like that. Okay, the only thing with this guy is it's going to be reasonably tough to actually get to certain enemies. But those exploding skulls seem to do a good job. Summon soldier, spectral spearman. Uh, slow enemies within the area. I'm going to go with the spearman here. Oh, that's a pretty rapid attack, that is. I thought it would have been like another skeleton, but... It's more of like a, a little ethereal attack that I can use. But yeah, like, look at this. I can, like, swing this around. Can I, like, just... Oh, yes! I was like, can I just sit in here and chill? That's amazing. Someone exploding corpse when max skeletons are alive. Okay, nice. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Necromancer's playstyle is, uh, is definitely my thing. Okay. So there, there's one of those exploding ones. Whoa, the radius on that was insane. Also, the plus one healing is so nice here. Commander wave of exploding skeletons, spawn wave plus one. I'm going to just keep upgrading this. I think maybe having one thing max upgraded might be a little bit better than having multiple things at low level. So 
I'm gonna try that now. Oh, we got. I'm guessing this is a speed increase here. Yes, it is. Okay, nice. That's another explodey. Good, good. I need to be careful of these stumps here. Oh, a little bit of gold there for me. Yeah, like, look, look, one of the stumps have just got up there. Okay, so this one's a normal stump. This one was a fakey. I need some bodies to revive my skeleton. This guy's gonna be a big old pain. Explosive corpses, do your thing, please. Okay, whoa, ho, 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 ho. The exploding skeletons do a real good job here. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the attack speed of our skeletons. Sounds good to me. Yeah, the exploding skeletons getting upgraded to this point has made them quite a, a force to be reckoned with, and I, I, I do love that. I like the aesthetic design of, like, the areas around, okay? Let's be aware that this could be another mimic, uh, but I'm going to go and try and bully this chest into opening. Okay, this is a regular chest. Thank you. Definitely a little scary seeing, uh... That Mimic dude last time really wasn't prepared. Heal up our skeleton again. I like the mechanics of the uh, the Necromancer guy. I'm guessing I can upgrade this ability, my early one, to uh, make it so that I can have more skeletons. Uh, bonus damage to skeletons attacks. Um, spawn wave plus one again. Yes, please. So we've got three spawn waves of a lot of skeletons right now. My goodness. I feel powerful right now. I feel very, very powerful. I'm, I'm, un I'm unsure as to how the exploding corpses work, though. Like, the, sorry, the exploding flesh piles. Because it seems that sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. Attack speed of skeleton. Increase that. Like, it said while I'm at max skeletons. Does that mean while my skeleton's at full health? Is that more so what it means? No, it doesn't, because it just spawned one there. Maybe there's just a time limit on it then, I guess. I am taking quite a lot of HP damage here. Got an ability here. Whoa, what is this guy? Well, whatever that was, it just gave me a ton of... Uh... Dude, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay. This was mostly keeping him away, but... I'm not sure what to do about this guy. Yeah, damn it. Okay. Definitely need to go for speed upgrades, but I think I'm going to go with the Necromancer again here. The Necromancer seems really, really fun. Uh, we got 87 this time around. I'm definitely going to go for more of this. Um, can't quite afford another upgrade. I'm going to just wait until I can afford more of that. The plus healing on, on bodies seems really, really important for us right now. Prepare your soul. There we got a fair skeleton. Yeah, we can get a very early upgrade from this body over here. And summon an effigy to lure enemies away from you, or slow enemies within an area for a brief duration. Let's go with that for now. Ooh, yeah, I really like the the, the visuals they've applied here uh, with some of the some of the effects going on. Really, really nice. And spell damage boost if HP is above fifty percent. Melee damage boost. Okay. Interesting. Um. Rip your soul to boost your flail's damage. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think the flail is really, really good. Um, and I need to be playing into it a little more. But yeah, plus two HP healed from a corpse there. Or not a corpse really, but like a, a flesh pile. Really, really good. I, I, I'm wondering how, how crazy that's going to scale when we upgrade it. Let's go with the effigy as well here. I'm going to just try out some new skills this time. I don't just want to, don't just want to take the same things each time here. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling this game. It feels... It, I, I totally get what, what they meant by, like, it's got a bit more complexity to it than, um, than Vampire Survivors. At the minute, like, obviously, it's uh, it's got sort of a similar start, but I can certainly feel with the types of upgrades it's giving me how it's going to change that. Let's go with the movement speed here. That's been a, a big point of contention for us so far. I don't want that constantly being an issue. I don't think we're quite as strong as last time. I think our uh, army of exploding skeletons was, was quite insane before. But with our slightly increased speed and their slightly decreased speed, it could be quite good. Find a wave. I mean, there you go. We've got our wave of exploding skeletons again now. 
I think grabbing them back now that they've got some new stuff is perfectly reasonable. So this effigy, I think, is just like a decoy. They will attack the effigy rather than me when it's up. Which is, again, quite nice. It means I can mind my own business. Oh god, yeah, the skeletons are like so bad to start with. Distance of collected souls. 10% seems very small for a, a first upgrade. Normally it'd be like 20, but still, that's fine. We don't need the healing yet. This is going to make our ball bigger, isn't it? Yep. Makes it do a lot more damage as well. Um, plus one skeletons. There it is. I was wondering if that was going to be the case, that I'd be able to upgrade that. Really, really nice that I can. I'm very, very glad. Because one, one definitely seemed weird for a necromancer. Normally necromancer is about commanding armies. It seemed very, very strange to just have one friend. Um, I'm going to upgra upgrade my soul collecting range a bit more again. Because, again, I feel that's been something that, that's been a problem for us. I always like to upgrade that as much as I can as well in, in any, any game like this. And then we get the poison. The poison was pretty good last time. Pretty happy to have that. You have to be careful, my skelly's dying. That unfortunately, does happen fairly regularly. But right now, we're doing good damage with just the poison, to be honest. Get, getting the flail to actually hit is a little bit devious. It's not, not quite as easy as it seems. Movement speed again. I, I'm going to have to set the movement speed again. I want to try and stay alive. Heal in there. The mages have so far been the, been the worst, uh, the worst enemy to deal with, just because they move a lot. Like I can't really swing into them like I normally would. There you go. I need to upgrade my army as well. Um, base damage by one seems decent enough. Oh, look at all that healing. That's. That's the more important part there. I said that and then immediately walked directly into a zombie who took off a mass a massive portion of my HP because I wasn't paying attention. I really want to upgrade the slowing effect. I think that could be something that if it if I can increase the percent of slow and the size of like the radius, that could be pretty amazing. Um Base HP increased. Oh, plus plus one extra skeleton, yes please. We've got three of them now. I'm really just waiting for that Mimic to pop up again now and scare the ever-living crap out of me. I'm guessing this is going to be increased coin drops or increased coin radius, maybe? Right, can I kill this guy this time? Okay, so that guy's just like a dropped coins and dips sort of dude. Oh god, no, they've got me, they've got me. They've flashed on, they've flashed on. Holy, that happens fast. Um... I don't think I'm going to be able to recover too much HP here, unfortunately. Once you get down to this low HP, it kind of gets really rough. Really, really rough. Dude, the Magician is just destroying me right now. We've got some bodies over here. Get out my face, boy. Magician buddy. No! Okay, we'll go again. Um... Give it, should we give another go as the regular class now? Uh, let's let's do this and see. We've got a lot of money this time around, though. I think if we if we upgrade this a lot, we could really make some da damage. What's, what's what, what we got here? Increase base damage, reduce damage taken, and increase movement speed. Movement speed's pretty awesome. But I'm I'm gonna stick with this and go as high up on this as I can. And we've got our next tier of upgrades already. Skeletons can collect souls. Wow. Inflict minor damage to nearby enemies, and skeletons um, empower the necromancer's flail on each attack. Okay, all of those seem really good. I'm, I'm going to stay as the necromancer. I'm really enjoying his playstyle. Especially if you get the, the extra skeletons going. But now that we have plus 4 HP per body, I think we might, be, might have an in to start off a bit quicker here. AoE Disease Cloud. Okay, so that's like the uh, the one that we had before. What was what's this thing that's grabbing me every now and again? Um, so we skeleton damage, yeah. Okay, so at the minute we're getting kind of lucky with all these bodies about. I'm also going to check this uh, here. Slow enemies, rain down AoE of exploding skulls. 
Yes, that seems good. Ah, ha, ha, I knew it. I knew that wasn't the last we saw of you. Pretty early to get this guy as an enemy. Luckily, our knockback is sufficient enough to be keeping him reasonably at bay. I say that as he hits me once again. There's a big chunk of gold. Um... Reduce all... I think the cooldown on our abilities might be more important than I've been giving it credit for, to be honest. Seems pretty darn good. That, that random poison cloud seems like completely, completely random in where it decides to throw it down. Ooh, also the AoE on these uh, blasts is not what I'd expect. Okay. Can't hit the goddamn wizard. Holy shit. The poison hit everything there. Okay, the wizard's dead. The wizard's dead. Increase movement speed. Increase XP gain. Yeah, let's try that. I don't know what intelligence does, what int does in this situation. But I can't imagine it's a bad thing. But even just the XP on its own is pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. I wonder if I can increase the size of that disease cloud as we go. I've already kind of lost quite a lot of HP here. I wonder if there's anything I can get to increase the amount of bodies I'm creating. It's really just getting a rhythm with your flail going. It's it's kind of not that easy. But I like that. It's a little bit of, a little bit of an extra challenge. Like this character, his main attack is a lot more involved. Summon, a, uh, summon an exploding corpse when max skeletons are alive. Yeah, we had that last time. I quite liked that. Does a reasonably good job. Oh my god, dudes. Okay, nice. Managed to kill them guys immediately this time, which is way better. Again, don't know who the hell's grabbing me. I need something that just increased my flail size and stuff. I do wonder if um if this game has similar, like, synergies that Vampire Survivors does, where you can get, like, synergies between items if you get them, like, all to max rank, and it, like, transforms it into something else. That was quite a cool thing. But we'll discover as we go. But, yeah, if people want to see more of this game, do let me know. But this is mainly just, like, a let's look at. I don't know what I'm going to call the series, I'll be honest. But it's something I want to do a little more regularly. People have asked for it, and I want I want to try it out. It's fun to try new games. And this one is certainly, certainly a fun one. The mushroom guys are so healthy. I mean, kind of look at them, you'd expect them to be, but still. Beautiful. Oh, so much stuff there. Um, cooldown reduction once again, I think, yeah. The amount of health you get from the bodies, even at four, still isn't like amazing but it's decent enough oh the poison got him i see you there wizard boy haha -ha, my skeleton got you this time and movement speed I honestly getting this this disease cloud is pumping up the only thing that's weird is i haven't seen it like increase the aoe which considering it's something with aoe in the name i would have expected one of the first upgrades to be an upgrade to its aoe um, it's surprising that we haven't seen that yet, but maybe that's like the max upgrade for it. It's been doing well regardless. This is time. I'm not quite sure what this is. Let's slow down the enemies. Oh, we got the snail again. So I don't think the snail is something we really need to worry about in terms of hurting us. I think we just bash him for as long as we can. He drops a bunch of money and then he leaves. Yeah, that's exactly it. Pretty good. Okay, we're back up to the uh, the point where the ladies of the night start spawning, which makes them sound like prostitutes. That's not what I meant to say. Okay, grab this. But yeah, as well, like, I think with this series, something I can do is just, like, try these games. And then if they don't work out or the video doesn't go the way I want, I don't have to upload them. I mean, this one I definitely think I'm going to because so far it's going great. Um, increase the attack speed of our skeletons. Fine. Why did that exploding corpse decide to take such a, a long trip before it exploded? Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, honestly, the Poison Cloud's doing a great job of just killing stuff that's on our way. That corpse explosion thing does so much damage. That's not even, like, remotely upgraded either. Traveling towards an enemy while trying to still spin your, uh... Trying to still spin your flail is super, super difficult. So I'm having a really, really hard time trying to actually hit the wizard guy. Die, wizard dude. Thank you, finally. Um, slow enemies kind of way of exploding skeletons. Let's go with the slowing now. We'll get that back. Oh my god, these enemies causing me some problems. These ones have significantly more health. But we've made it further than we've ever made it before. Doesn't mean we're going to keep on making it further. I'll be honest, I'm not super hopeful of this run. I'll be completely transparent. We've, we've, okay, so now we've got an actual enemy-looking snail. Dude, these skeletons. Heck me. And now there's dogs coming in as well. Oh, I can't get away from them. They're so hard to hit. Okay, I think this is... Oh, no. He's here. He's here. He's here to eat our babies. Right. Keep making my way away from this guy. I'm trying to get the corpses where I can, but at the minute I'm in a situation where I have a deficit of corpses, but I also need to create corpses. Oh, that's health. I also need to create corpses in order to do things. Dude, this guy is way too strong. Am I meant to be able to kill this guy? He just runs at me and <laughs> murders me. Wow, I think we'll give it one more go, um, and we'll play as the regular guy this time. Give it another go as this guy. But, I'm liking this so far. The, the, the Mimic guy seems like an endgame boss to me right now. I'm sure if you know how to deal with him, he's not that bad. But at this point, I kind of have to attack like all the stumps and check all the chests to see if we have Mimics about. Grab that. Wide range attack. Okay, shield bash seems good. We need something that's going to be able to hit through a good few enemies. This is exactly the same as the guy in Vampire Survivors that has the whip where it's only left and right and it makes him a little tricky to start with. Um, Earth attacks inflict 5% more damage. Iron smash damage, iron strike damage. Let's go with the XP gain daily on. a big wave of enemies coming in here. Be a little slow to get think the ball rolling to start with, but we'll get there. Slash attack. I like it. Okay, yeah. We, unfortunately, we've still got stuff that's all left and right. Oh no, that one, that, that one, because it's overarching, does help. Okay, them guys are so much easier like this. I'm gonna be a, a fool. Okay, this isn't fair. <laughs> I couldn't slice those guys. Um, be a fool and take some less HP to increase my overall damage and hope that that's a somewhat good idea. Um... Oh, I love the graphics for that. The little sprite for the, uh, the strike there on the ground. I wonder if we get like good timing and get like all of these attacks to hit at once, how well that would do. Okay, I took a lot of damage there, but... It's fine. Um, cooldowns, I guess. You are not dead yet. Wow. Mushroom Boy has got it in for me. Come on. I always turn around when my attack's about to go off and completely miss my attack. How is this mushroom guy not dead? Take whatever this is. This guy has no way of healing at the moment either, which definitely makes him a little trickier. Definitely adds to the difficulty. 
This was really good last time. I'm going to take that. Because I've got a little bit of up and down then. And I can upgrade it to add more strikes. These guys seem fearful of me. They were like walking back then. But I think, I think with this character, maybe the key is that I have to explore a little more to find chests and stuff to destroy to try and get help. I can't really just rely on other healing. Got our poison clouds going on. Yeah, I like that look. It's not gonna heal us all the way, but it's it's enough. Increase distance to collect souls. We'll take that. Upgrade to specific attacks. Even with the poison, this guy just will not go down. Maybe they don't. Maybe this enemy just doesn't die. We got a snail buddy again. My curiosity with a snail guy is, should I be hitting him or not? <laughs> like, does hitting him make him drop more gold or less? I can't, I can't quite tell yet. I think it's more. Okay. Really like that attack. Oh my god. Shield bash. Good stuff. Upgrade that bad boy. Need to go on a search for a bit more uh, healing now. The only problem is when we're searching for healing, we're not getting any of the rewards of our actual kills. And that certainly slows progress down a little bit. But knowing that these boxes can contain what we want. I'm not, I think this is just like a, a suck in money sort of thing. I'm not 100% sure. A little bit more healing there. The shield bash is doing good stuff. My de my guys aren't killing these uh, these ghostly women very quickly though. My white knights. Let's go with this. Yeah. So we haven't seen whatever the first like considered boss would be yet. Uh, and I, I, I don't think the Mimic guy really counts. Although he is very boss-like to me. I don't think he actually counts because I think he's just a random encounter. I mean as in like, if we make it to so-and-so time, then we get a boss sort of thing. Now this is this is problematic once again. I've, uh, I've awoken this beast and he comes at me with a, a fury I've never seen. Like he has this dash attack. I don't know how to get away from it. And like, I feel like I have to keep running to get away, but I need to turn around and deal damage to him. So I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do about that guy. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna do another run. I'm, 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 I'm into this, I'm into this. I'm gonna do another run. Um, Going back to the Necromancer though, I just think he works way better for me. We'll go for one more upgrade on this and then Wait, can we, can we reset and get all of our gold back? Okay, we can. Nice. Um, skeletons can collect souls, I think, is going to be real good. Um, I think I'm going to go for two on that and just see how good that ends up being. Because that could make a whole hell of a lot of difference, especially if we get the upgrade that allows us to get multiple skellies. Like, let's see. Yeah, he literally just instantly gets the souls when he kills these enemies for me. That That's actually going to be huge. Um, Colossal Fist, we haven't had that yet. Ooh. Oh, oh, I've been missing out. That thing's amazing. That thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, move speed, great. But AoE on that's crazy. Unfortunately, he can't collect corpses for himself, which would be quite OP if he could, to be honest, but it would be also quite nice. But yeah, we want to get the thing that lets us increase the amount of skeletons as much as uh, as much as we can. Getting an actual skeletal army together would be quite nice. Um, spectral spearmen to protect, protect you from the front. Uh, the, the the exploding skulls was pretty good. I didn't I didn't really get many upgrades for it, so I didn't really see its true potential. But it's, at the base level for killing weak enemies, it worked pretty well. Like I said, I think it's going to be better for us to uh, destroy 
Um, destroyed? What am I talking about? I think it's gonna be better for us to like fully upgrade one thing. Oh, hello, Mr. Problem Child. I can't do the swingies near you. You're so difficult as this guy. Um, this is a real risk because lowering my speed sounds horrible. But I think if we're gonna go skeletons as a build, we kind of need to go skeletons as a build and take it the full, the full way. Um, plus one. I guess I'll just go with plus one on this. I don't know what plus one on it means. I'm guessing just damage. Really, I should be leaving corpses for when I truly need them. I'm just kind of accidentally walking into a lot of them while trying to get souls. Um, movement speed again. That at least takes back some of the speed down we took, I guess. Getting a good bit of souls going here. Yeah, I could leave like a little field of corpses ready for me, I guess. big ball. Again, I could leave that. I, I guess I'll just hang around it and then take it when I need it, because right now there's not all that much going on. Um, plus one again for that. Oh, 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 I see now. Okay, it's going crazy. Okay, it just literally adds plus one to the amount of things that uh, fists it has. I like that a lot. Mushroom boy's been a problem. I'm just gonna pick this up to kill him. There you go. Gotcha, mushroom fella. Uh, base damage, I guess, is, is quite nice. Get all out of that now. So, can we summon another one of these guys? Yes, we can. Pretty good, because it gives us a good amount of XP. And I think we've got these guys down to the point where we don't have to worry about them so much. I say that and then immediately get hit for him quite a lot. Um, plus four skulls on that seems really good. Oh, wait. Does this, does this ability just make enemies drop pennies when they die? It does. Okay, that's kind of nice. Okay. Good amount of souls down here. A lot of money. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost killed myself then. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Because, yeah, I, I, I literally just took off so much of my HP for absolutely no reason. We're up to plus five healed now, though. Could be very good. Depends on how many souls we can keep around. See, I want to go open that chest, but there's an equal part chance that it kills me. <laughs> Maybe that the idea is just to avoid chests until you really need them, or until you're more powerful enough to kill that that little creature. Right. Come up here and get a few of our corpses that are lying with. Still, unfortunately, no plus to scorpion. Uh, scorpion skeletons. Would have loved that. Skeleton, can you go for the wizards, please? I can't really do much about them. Um, honestly, yes. Just keep upgrading this fist. It's doing wonders for us right now. I see no reason to ignore fist upgrades when it's this good. Which kind of bashes everything in the immediate area. Anything on screen. It will hit. Unfortunately, it doesn't specifically target them, though. But it is hitting. It's good AoE, so it's hitting a lot of them regardless. Get Skelly Bob's back around. Thank you, Skellington Man. Okay, we're up to the next level of enemies here. And still nothing. Increase the attack speed. Increase the damage. Attack speed's probably the best. But yeah, still no plus to skeletons. 
Seems like a pretty vital upgrade for this guy to... For us to unfortunately be missing it every time. Now, this is good because that's just a lot of bodies for us to heal off of. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> the fly swarms are uh, a source of healing. Dude, I can't hit you. Um. Okay, I think we've got this at max rank now. I said plus one fist, plus one smash. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But, oh boy, does it seem good. We finally got something to max rank. I think, I think that was max rank. Can I actually see? Yeah, I, I did get it to max rank. Okay, nice. But everything else is lacking a little bit. But it's doing a real good job, though. The only thing is, it, it of course, is a cooldown-based effect, so sometimes we are lying in wait for it. Oh, shit, we throw bombs down now. Come here, snail bro. Try and keep him on screen for as long as we can. Um, it keeps giving us stuff that we have no level in. I'm guessing we can get stuff to, like, re-roll and stuff uh, at some point. Okay, finally the snails are back in the game. The skeleton's dead. Not good. Okay, he's back. The skeletons aren't too difficult to keep alive. I keep accidentally pulling the snail towards me with my flail. Not ideal. I'm really looking for my skeleton to do a good job of picking up all these souls, I'll be honest. And so far, he's not. <laughs> he's getting a good amount, but I kind of wish he'd just, like, go around and collect them all for me. Like, I'm collecting the meat for you, dude. Um... I'm going to go for this again. It seems really risky, but I feel like the skeleton just could be so good. He's not doing an awful lot yet, but oh god, we've got an explodey boy here, which I also imagine is fairly problematic for us. Dude, are these riding rats now? What the hell? Stuff has progressed so fast. Oh god, these things are strong. Okay, we've, we, we've, we've gotten into the... Uh, the quote-unquote hard mode portion. I'm guessing at 10 minutes of where things really start to go off the rocker. Probably going to be our first proper boss. But yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. Spin to win. Spin to win. The snails are uh, a little bit problematic. Base damage I think we need right now. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer that's just not giving us what we want. We're getting kind of unlucky with that. Dude, I, I keep bashing the snails into myself. Not what I want. Trying to get all the meat I can here. It's not so easy, though. Again, there's a chest over there. It could save my life, but... More than likely, it'll get me killed, so I just want to leave it alone. Oh, it's been... The chest was being hit a few times, which means I know it's safe now. But again, moving towards things while keeping this swimming is... is sw swimming? Swinging. It's not easy. Oh, but you... You're here, though. And I did indeed get plus one skeletons there. I didn't mention it, but I did get plus one skeletons. Keeping this swinging is, yeah, very, very difficult at times. Really relying on our fists to do a lot of the work. Okay, here's our first boss. Nine minutes on the dot. I was expecting it to be ten, but nine minutes it is. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> no. This is so difficult. Because I've got him coming at me and then everything else. Okay, that's nice. That's a, a nice little reward there. I'd like to get in here and get all this meat. Okay, nice. I managed to get a lot of this meat. Now, I don't actually know how killable this guy is. Oh, his health bar's right there, idiot. Okay, he's perfectly killable. 
Okay, we've managed to get nearly to full health again here. It says he's got two... It says, like, two of them there. I don't know if that's two health bars or what. I don't know if that means I'm just going to have to fight another one of these guys after this, or... Movement speed there is really nice. This guy's going down reasonably quickly. Okay, this game's really hotting up at this point now. This is... I'm glad I did another run because this is really quite interesting. This is like a not an easy boss either. Because you have to deal with everything else at the same time as well. Okay, we got him. We got him. Boss defeated. Flesh Golem. Okay, okay, okay. Plus one damage again. A lot of souls going on here. We've got these little worm boys now. Chest is openable. We have a lot of gold after this as well. Extra skeletons. Them picking up souls for us and the upgrades we've got for them so far, I think they're going to be doing a lot of work. I think the plus one damages are actually super vital. I need to be taking those way earlier. Like, way, way earlier. The fist is doing so much of the damage still, though. That thing just clean screens of enemies at once. Oh, shit, there's like a ogre troll sort of looking thing here. My skeleton seem to have, have him under, under wraps. We've also got like a mosquito here. We've got wrecked. Okay, he's the guy that's slowing me. Okay. I thought he was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Up to level 22 now. Oh, we've got some fireballs coming in. Okay, I managed to kill a lot of those pretty quick. See, another upgrade. We've got nothing in any of these. Although the extra XP is probably quite nice right now. And this. This is very, very welcome. But again, walking towards enemies while spinning this thing is no easy task. Finding it very, very hard to keep hitting things while also collecting souls. <laughs> I suppose that comes with part of the challenge of the character. Everything did. And I'm getting so much healing from all of this stuff. Oh, snail boy again. I just want to chase him, don't I? Nah. Okay. Chasing him doesn't really work. Which kind of buggers off elsewhere. Plus one skeletons again. Hell yes. Okay, we're up to four skeletons now. So a, ske a real skeleton build is very viable here. We need to take as many skeleton-based upgrades as we can. We've already got a good build going. Especially considering getting corpses is what we need for um, healing anyways. So we're keeping these guys constantly topped up with HP. Hopefully that 10% extra XP, extra XP is helping out. Grab. Okay, someone exploding corpse when max skeletons are alive. Um, I'm going to go with more XP here. And int whatever that's helping us with. Oh, we got our next boss. The Warden. Oh, I see. He's got a, a troop with him. I'm not sure what his gals do. Um... Give me that money. We've taken a good bit of damage here. Uh, my skeleton seems to be doing a fine job of taking this guy out. I think I'm just going to do my best to keep him topped off with, uh, with healing. I mean, I need the healing as well right now, so I do not mind. Okay, he's placing these little tree stumps everywhere that are hurting the hell out of me. Um, and then there you go, up to max skeletons now. Oh, we got a new buddy here. Okay, is he dead now? 
Yeah, boss defeated. Wow. Okay, another boss done. Oh, God. Whoa. I just realized I'm exploding for like a ton of damage right now. Oh, and here he is. Right on cue for when I have very low HP as well. Great stuff. I'm so dead here, aren't I? Oh, my goodness. This is not good, my guy. Oh, wait. No, my skeleton's killed him. Hell yes. Who the hell's lobbing all the explosives at me? Also, there's a healing potion up there that I can't make my way towards right now. Oh, bollocks. I want that healing potion so bad, but in the in the way of this game, I can't goddamn get to it because I've got to keep spinning to win. There it is. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, in a slightly better position now. Oh my goodness. Um, let's take the spear guy, why not? Don't slow me, that's terrible. Oh shit, there's upgrades over there that I'm missing out on. Good stuff, good stuff. This is a very good run. I should be able to see my coins, really, while I'm in the middle of a run, but I can't. Maybe it's on the menu? Yeah, it is, okay. It would be nice to have those live at all times. Okay. My skeleton's are doing most of my damage now, um, so I've, I'm, I'm really going hard on their upgrades. All the bodies we can get, please. Give me that upgrade, thank you. Get all the money I can here. It's gonna be a lot of money. It's gonna pile up. It's only one pair of enemy, but when this many enemies are dying, it makes a difference. Now I wonder if 20 minutes is gonna be the time limit on this game as well. Base damage for skeletons, yes please. Yeah, because in, in Vampire Survivors, it goes to 20 minutes, right? I wonder if it's going to be similar in this game. We'll see if we can make it there, but I'm not super hopeful. I mean, I have only just started playing this game, and it's got kind of a steep learning curve with some of the characters. It's mainly this guy, for me at least. I need more meat to keep my skellies alive. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll I'll do this. Try the exploding corpses for a bit. There's got to be some meat up to the left here. That there is good, good, good. The slowdown is really bad here. Whoever's slowing me needs to quit it now. Holy hell, this game's intense. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? I don't know how well the skulls are performing right now. I don't know if they're like... Oh, I've got some frog boys coming in. I don't know if they're like some of our main damage contributors, the reigning skulls, but I'm going to pretend they are. I'll just try it out. Another chest over there. I could end up being our friend, Mr. Mimic, but we'll see. At least we've had it finally killed him, though. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, yeah, extra damage for our burn boys. I still think our fist is probably doing the most of anything, but I think now that our skeletons are fully upgraded, they can at least contribute pretty heavily, and then they're getting a bunch of uh, souls for us as well, which I quite like. Snail's back. Hello. Wouldn't have expected you to be around. Hey, we've got two spectral soldiers now. Again, don't think that's really contributing too much, I'll be honest. But it's better than nothing, I guess. We have made so much gold this run. Whoa, we've got a bunch of old guys here now. With sickles. Oh, I knew you'd be back, Mr. Um, extra attack speed for these guys. Yes, please. 
But yeah, honestly, our scaly's kind of wreck. Plus five scalies with all these upgrades. It's kind of amazing. Just go into swaths of enemies and destroy the hell out of them. Necromancers are always my favourite types of characters to play. In like Diablo, ne I really enjoy Necromancers. I think I think the sort of barbarian type is my top tier, but then Necromancers are just a lot of fun. Um, plus one soldier again. Wow, this is a really big AOE on that now. They've kind of managed to... Oh god, I need my skeletons. I need my skeletons real bad. Oh, hello. I've been, uh, I, um, okay, so, whatever was about to happen there looked like it was going to be really cool, <laughs> but the Mimic guy just kind of killed me while I was unable to move. I I'm guessing that's just a hitch of it being the beta, but we almost made it to the very last boss there. Uh, we got to, like, 1930. Could have been a good one, but goddamn those mimics. Oh, they are brutal. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this look into Soul Survivors. Uh, again, it's going into early access on May 3rd, so check it out if you like this video, and I'd definitely be checking it out myself. And yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.